quite honestly, what happened with the system is we just had a human error issue. Only some of our sirens were activated. So when that call from the weather service came to Metro, um, only a, a partial number of our sirens were activated. So we met uh, about this for about a half hour already today. Um, we already have some plans in place to rectify that going forward. This was an extremely fast moving system that in some cases by the time even our, uh, our dispatch center was, was uh, noticed that they should be uh, talking or should be giving the alert, uh, the system was already moved on. You know, there's parts of government that require human interaction and this is one. And uh, I'm owning it. It's my team. It's my administration. Uh, that's why we met already on it this morning at 8 a.m. When trees were still down and people are still without power, we've already had meetings on this. So I'm taking it very seriously and uh, pretty confident in the steps we have to rectify it. Man, when something like this happens, our community is extremely responsive and extremely supportive. And so we're already seeing massive cleanup efforts that are happening. Heard that proverbial sound of a freight train, this that roar, and I'm, so I grabbed my little dog and made my way to the, the basement, but didn't make it. I was actually upstairs when the uh, house blew apart. The uh, first responders are here. The neighbors, it's unbelievable. I mean, take a look around, I mean, people are great.